Okay, here we go. First video. Uh, I wrote three personal development books uh, last year. And it's from taking the advice of Earl Nightingale. He said to personal development people, coaches, they say, learn, create, and grow. And you will get what you want, helping other people get what they want. You get your riches, everything you need. Your life will be taken care of. So I'm going to do something a little different instead of publishing my book. I'm going to be the author that makes video books. So I'm going to read my book. So this is my first book of the three. The title is For the People That Wish They Knew It to Do It by Juan Michael Gomich Jr. Chapter 1 This morning I thought of a song similar to an existing song but still cool. I tried to wake up my son who was eight years old. He became a little upset, rolling over, mumbling. Thanks a lot, Dad, for waking me up. I said, you're welcome, son. Then began to sing him a song. That's what dads are for. They wake you. They teach you. Knowing they will always ask for more, for sure. That's what dads are for. This brought us closer than before. Then he woke up. Today I asked myself to loan me a year to get back on track. Myself said wait, taking a step back, and replied, if I loan you a year to get back on track, I will have to take a year from you. I thought about that reply for a while and responded to myself, repeating myself's reply to me and answered, no. How about these terms? How about half a year? And I have already lost. No. How about all the years I have lost? I get back plus the years I need to get back on track because it is my life, myself. As I started today early, ready to begin my routine of study and learning, my partner and son was still in bed, sleeping, while the sun was shining outside on a clear, beautiful sky, shining like it was just never shined before. I noticed my partner changing sides to sleep. And she was still sleeping, but kind of awake. And I went up to her, nudged her on the shoulders, and said, Wake up. I have a surprise for you. With an exciting voice, she replied, What? With a tired voice, and look, I said, it is a new day. Wake up before the alarm goes off. Waking up before the alarm goes off is a sign that I am readily willing to accept wisdom to learn and grow to new levels. And that's how we should all be. Waking up before the alarm goes off, excited to get out of bed happy doing what we love to do, not thinking about the money. Reflecting on pieces of information I have learned in the past week, such as better to be prepared without an opportunity than to have an opportunity without being prepared, and realizing that my life and amount 
in my checking accounts. Assets are in direct proportion to my value in the marketplace. The business world, career supporting a family and security, is in direct proportion to the amount of service we provide. While I drove to the gym this morning, I thought of something in reference to what I have been learning about in the past saying in my mind, body and spirit was brought to my attention. But it was not until my recently new study of the holistic healing subject, how it relates. I now understand that mind, body, and spirit are coordinated to the whole body, healing of holistic healing that is powerful, dealing with energy aspects of your life, intellectual healing, physical healing, and spiritual healing it should be everyone's passion. Today I rose early, before the sun, around 8.30 a.m., unable to sleep from excitement and anticipation, like a child with an imagination, waiting for Christmas morning. This new venture is more than me and all other members could have ever planned. My imagination has returned allowing me to dream of enormous possibilities when I thought all hope was gone. This decision is causing me to live again. So study personal development, read, watch personal development videos at least 15 minutes per day. You know, those who read at least 15 minutes a day, statistics show that are up in the top 90%. Leaders are readers. If you are not in personal development, get in it now. No, I am not selling anything. Here, with that statement, it is for your own good. Like your mother used to say, right? It is for my good. I started with personal development a couple of months ago. Well, a couple of years ago now. I've been studying personal development for seven years now. And I strongly believe to be successful online. Not only online, in life. So, what am I doing? I'm hypnotizing myself to become rich. The problem is money. We never have enough. I never have enough. Only if I had enough money. Everything would be different. So, I'm hypnotizing myself to be rich. How? Every morning and night. The best time to plant things in your subconscious mind. Wherever you want to guide your life. Because after you get it into your subconscious mind for long enough, your subconscious mind automatically takes over. It's out of our control. If you don't understand how the mind works, search it. It is for my good, and I started with personal development. So, I was sick and tired of sick and tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired, like most people that started personal development before they started personal development. I strongly believe to be successful in life, it is a must. Do take at least 30 minutes a day, 15 to 30 minutes a day, to watch a video or read something in personal development, self-help, because it only makes, makes us better. We want our lives to be different. We have to do different things. If you're not happy with our lives, it's our fault. No one's coming to help us. 
It's up to us. It's up to you, me, to do something about it. Where you see yourself five to ten years from now. Start working on it now, today. Start at ten minutes. Start at ten minutes if you have to. Start at one minute if you have to. Work your way up. Read at least a page a day if you have to. Work your way up to 30 minutes and beyond. Stop trying to change everything on the outside and take a journey within. This is the one main thing I want to pass along. Because none of us are guaranteed. And we won't be here long. Just think, a hundred plus years from now, we're all going to be dead. And somebody else will be here. What are you going to do to make this world a better place before you go? Okay, I guess it is true what they say. You learn something new every day. So I brought my laptop. My partner. My laptop is my partner because I live on it. But anyway, I went to Computer Geeks at Best Buy, which is awesome. Totally recommend it to get information, buy stuff, you know. This time was about transferring pictures and videos from my iPhone with the intention to buy an iCam. It is great because everything I get additional information. And I had no idea, right? Apparently. And I hope this helps someone. You plug in the iPhone to your laptop with the USB cable. <clears throat> Click my computer in the Start tab. You will see your iPhone information. Click on that. Click Accept on iPhones that you trust the PC, then click send videos, trust the PC, and pictures to your PC, simply by frustrating. If you did not know, I found out they recommend malware services. I found out for backups. I frown upon the PC backup, which I had either then or optimizer. That's probably the reason I had a virus that was showing me, slowing me down, and showing me in a bad way. So, we have to fix that. We have to make our help ourselves look good. How do we make each other look good and help each other? We need to go out every day thinking about what are we going to do to help somebody? Albert Einstein, one of the smartest men in the world on the planet, I believe everything he says. He said that's the main reason why we're here, to help each other. So small suggestions to stay away from thoughts for an easier life. Go online the computer geeks also recommended uh, Seagate one my laptop has a total of 520 gigs of memory and I only use about 100 gigs he said I will be okay with the double one backup hard drive but I could probably get by using 500 which half of it they also have 2T and 3T for more memory right. this is just rough drafts we're not really getting into the book summarizing it gets better this is just uh, little journals until we get to the uh, first chapter pre pre first chapter going through some information so stick with it 
Stick with me, it gets better. A lot of good information. Cody's Bath Time. Fiction. These are just little stories that I wrote. Kind of like a journal. I'm getting into the uh, pre-book writing stage. Just some things that happen. And that's another good thing. It's good to write every day. Um, what's his name? The famous actor. Um, Sylvester Stallone. He wakes up every morning and writes. Writing. Might not be good at first. Most of us aren't good at first with some things, but we get better. Perfect practice makes perfect. Not practice makes perfect, because you might be practicing the wrong way. You have to practice perfectly. Perfect practice makes perfect. Send prayers for my son, friends, who hurt his knee really bad. We all need to pray for each other in some area. They were playing football, and the young boy was handed the ball after not knowing what to do. He jammed his leg after being hit by another player. He was brought to the hospital, and we are saying prayers. Luckily, he's okay now. Walking like a true champ. Champion. Champion. Champ, champion. Today is a grind. I listened to the Empower Hour last night. I recommend the Empower Hour. And Dave gave all a dose of courage. I know things start feeling like a mountain. As we think about things in a whole, as a whole, you and especially me have to take small parts at a time. Write down what needs to be done and take a little time to complete something. It matters what it is. Remember small parts here and there on a particular project and you're done. We got to get at it to get it Maybe you feel off track. That's okay. Emphasize on that statement in this venture because we're working we're working emphasize on that statement in this venture because we're working so high percent so a high percent of the time, plug in, get help, coaching, reach out to a sponsor, mentor, or team member, training, training sessions. Don't waste time. Time is the most valuable thing. We only have so much of it. You can't get your time back. So do something progressive. All help evaluate and monitor your things to do list. You gotta get it. You gotta get it done. There's always something to do when you make a to do list, revisit it, evaluate it. Always changing it up, adding to it. There's always something to do. We should be working on something. I don't watch TV anymore. Don't watch TV. It's a waste of time. Unless you're, of course, doing a training guard. Something positive. Watching something positive. Just imagine it as your computer. We're all working with the same, most powerful instrument on the planet our brains how are we programming our brains how do you want to program it okay 
how do you want to program your computer. The better you program it, the better it's going to work for you. It sends out signals. And we put out what we want to the universe. And the longer with the most amount, the longer we do it, the stronger the signal, the faster it's going to manifest in our lives. A lot has happened in the last couple of months. So much has happened in the last couple of months that my mind is all twisted. Trying to wrap it around everything that's going on, like most of us, especially now, the holiday season. So, we have a few techniques in this book that's going to help us work through that time so we can remain calm, stay relaxed. In the right frame of mind it's a mindset mind over matter lately I've been sending plenty I've been spending plenty of time with marketing courses online studying and personal development in between the process determine to progress into a master. And how long does it take to become a master? Five years, 10,000 hours. Statistics show we work at something hard enough for a long enough period of time, five years, 10,000 hours, and you will receive a master in it. You become a master. No matter what it is, whatever you love to do, whatever you're doing, do it for at least five to ten years. No, five years, ten thousand hours. Uh, more than more than five or ten years. At least five years, ten thousand hours to master any area. So don't get upset if you fail. That's good. What did Michael Jordan say? He fails over and over again. He failed over 10,000 times. He's a champion. That's what makes him a champion. You just keep going. You learn from it and you keep going. Uh, Emerson. He failed at baking the light bulb 10,000 times. Did he give up? You keep going until you get it. What about the eight-cylinder block engine? Ford made a scientist, paid a scientist to work on it. They were dedicated. They kept going back to him saying that it couldn't be done. It couldn't be done. But he kept on making them do it. Keep doing it until you get it. They're saying they couldn't come up with the V8 engine, eight-block cylinder. It was impossible. And then uh, it took about a year and a half, and they finally figured it out. But they were ready to dedicate their lives to it. That's how we need to be with our goals in life. We need goals. All of us must have goals, something to work towards, long-term, short-term goals. And we dedicate our life to it. No matter if you fail or not. You have to be willing to fail at something if you love it passion long enough. You should be happy with failing at it your whole life. But then you keep doing it. And that's how you make a commitment. To keep going no matter what. I was up late studying psycho-cybernetics. 
another good book. I recommend Psycho Cybernetics. A lot of uh, doctors recommend that to professional athletes. There's a new updated version. The Empower Network, Inner Circle, also is a good community to get involved with. I'm writing my story for Empowered Network on WordPad. But it does not spell check while in the process of finding a new place to save my writing. I came across new information about Windows XP. Support was canceled on Windows XP. They are making everyone change to Windows 8.1. Unable to get work finished today because I spent hours getting the latest version of Microsoft Office so I can produce some of the best material on the planet. And you can visit my my social media sites and check that out. There should be a description link at the bottom of in the description. I have a lot of good information on my social media pages. For everyone, my motto is that if it at least helps one person out of the billions of people around the world, odds are that I believe it will help at least one person. I've done my job. Okay. I have a lot of good stuff like, uh, Videos and pictures of me giving blood and donating blood and doing a lot of good things, people. Today was wild. While in the process of training, reviewing notes, and checking on different things in my business, my son comes in the office and shows me poison ivy all over his face and arms, so I uh, suddenly stopped everything and brought him to the doctor. The doctor prescribed him liquid medicine and cream with strict instruction not to touch anyone. Once uh, we put the cream on the mumps and he started to shout and scream in the back the seat of my car because the cream burned. I didn't know what to do. Luckily, we were still in the Walgreens parking lot. So I asked him to go in the bathroom to rinse it off. But my son didn't want to go. Yeah. Because everyone was going to see the burns on his face. Can you believe this? He's only, he was only nine years old at the time, so I have him, had him, he was crying and screaming in the back seat because the cream burned. I'm over there, losing patience. Finally, I was able to calm him down. We went and washed his face off to get the medicine. face, oh, we washed his face off, washed the medicine off his face, and it stopped burning, he stopped crying, everybody was happy, and then we went home. Today I started the amazing selling machine course with Amazon, because I know if I don't make a change, everything will stay the same. That's important. I said it already before. If you don't like the way your life is going, your situation, it's up to you to make a change. It's up to us to make a change. What are we going to do different? We can't keep on doing the same thing expecting different results. Right? Okay. So, 
To become interesting, we have to become a more interesting person. To attract more interesting people. Right. Okay, that's another thing. Yesterday was my grandfather's birthday. And my whole family had a dinner. Dinner reservations. At a fancy restaurant. I was going to go stay. I was going to stay. But I decided to go. Busy trying to. Uh, I stayed and visited and talked with my grandfather and family. Unfortunately, they're all passed away now from different things. We just had a rough couple of years with COVID. It wasn't easy. My mother passed away with COVID. And I had a few other family members that passed away from different things. It's not easy. But as long as we know we have faith, you can go on YouTube and you can search it and study it. Our spirit leaving the body. They actually filmed our spirit leaving the body. So if you believe it, I believe it. Where does it go? I talked about it in a previous video. How I believe we're all energy. And our spirits leave our bodies. And we gravitate towards what we, in har we are in harmony with. Our spirit is in harmony with. Because if you think about this universe as a one large energetic field and we are, and you can search this, there's scientific studies about this, a lot of it has to do with quantum physics, uh, we're all energy, that's scientifically proven, everything's energy vibrating on different levels, that's why it looks different. On a quantum physics level. So, vibrating at different levels. So, if you look at this world, this universe, as one large energetic field vibrating on different levels with, with different levels of frequency, you see, that's the thing. We raise our level of frequencies. There's different frequencies that you could look up. Like, uh, I do meditations on a 432 hertz frequency so I'm going to be my mind's going to be in harmony with people on that level on the 432 hertz frequency level right and then I start attracting those things into my life but it is a big deal and then that's not the that's not as high as it goes it goes higher there's different levels of high how high are you what are you how are you vibrating see uh, successful people they work on raising their vibrations raising their body's vibrations there's a whole deal uh, about it our mind's vibrations vibrating at different levels and attracting things it's a whole well a lot of information so i recommend you know getting into it it's interesting um, that's one of the meditations i do and we're attracting success, gravitating toward that, moving in that direction. Uh, you might be leaving some people behind, but it depends on you know most successful people. They can relate to what I'm, what I'm referring to, uh, because those people are just gonna they're not ready to change, make a change. We all change when we're ready to change, and we work on ourselves. Uh, you know, we're ready to move up. We start doing things like that. Uh, getting into the alpha mindset, delta, theta, mind frames, different mindsets. Uh, a lot of information. That's why uh, they recommend listening to Baroque classical music. Because it puts you in the alpha mind state, the best mind, the best state of mind to learn new information. So, yeah, back to 
If you don't get it right the first time, don't get frustrated. Most people don't. That's why it's scientifically proven when you go over the same information six times, you're 62% more likely to retain the information. So, after I found out that, that knowledge, uh, yeah, my grades, um, and I did, I did go back to school, back, back to a technical college, and uh, yeah, I like pass, I was making straight A's on everything. So if you wanna make straight A's, you know, try that, you know, do that. That's how you study, you study and you wanna go over the same information, it's kind of uh, laborious and uninteresting but going over the same information over and over and over again but that's how you remember it you want to pass do good in school or whatever you're doing information things you want to remember it helps you remember um, so if you look at these to um, scientific studies the statistics you know um there are similarities in the way our brains work and function um, neurologically and there's a few it's you know not as difficult as people think there's a few basic uh, concepts and principles that the uh, secret societies study and teach uh, about living the best life possible there are secrets uh, to this universe and this planet that we live on that we must know that they don't teach in school information that was held from the public and you kind of have to dig deep into it to get into it find it but it's being taught more and more and leaking out more and more uh, the information is related to the Bible a lot of it so I guess you could say like personal development and self-help is the scientific side of the Bible and um, what they teach in churches in the Bible is the theological side of, of it spirituality Versus science so it's like two different sides with uh, a lot of similar information so that's all for chapter one today and I hope to see you there's a lot more good information coming up uh, for chapter two world peace world peace people